My father worked as a lawyer for the richest family in New York until his plane went down in Long Island Sound. My dad left me only two things, his briefcase and his biggest client, the Darlings. Trip, the Empire Builder. I need your help, Nikki. You're the guy. Letitia, the sophisticated socialite. Patrick, the principal politician. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna go into a hotel and give a tranny hooker a check. Karen, the professional divorcee. She's uh, still in love with you, huh? Brian, the man of God. I know he's mine, but I can't just bring him home to my wife and kids. And Jeremy and Juliet, the well-behaved twins. Yeah. I said I'd never work for them, but I will for now. Because I think one of them may have murdered my dad. blue suit oh i forgot to pick it up from the cleaner sorry honey maria maria do they have wild salmon yes poached soup song hollanders on the side steamed broccoli but not al dente he's been making it nearly raw tell him to cross cut the stem i don't know why he doesn't know how to do that I assume you don't really want to go to work. There you go. Really? You don't have to do this, you know that, right? What? Your dad wasted his life babysitting the darlings. You don't have to do the same thing. You know that, Come right? Come on, Lisa. We've been through this, okay? I get to help a lot of people with a lot of money. And I'm also trying to find out what happened to my dad. You really think someone killed him? I think it seems highly possible, yeah. Is that why you took this job? Do you feel like... You have some score to settle or something? Look, I don't know, Lisa. It was a gut decision. I, I took it for many reasons, I guess. None of which are Karen. Hey, I, I didn't mention Karen. Look, I owe my dad something. I just, I want to find out the truth. Okay? Okay. Has that airplane mechanic guy ever called you back? Norman, excellent. Uh, I called him like ten times. Where are my keys? Here. Uh, thank you. And I would get your dad's briefcase if I knew where you put it. Do you know where it is? I left it with Daisy. She's figuring out the combination for me. I'm hoping there are some answers in there. Mm. What? Ah. There. Now you're perfect. Well, I may look perfect, but... Mm, just like the darling. Mm. Mm. Love you. Can Freddie be in the picture? Please? No. This photo shoot, for better or worse, is going to launch your brother's Senate campaign. I'm not going to let you cheapen it by including your fourth husband. But, Mom, his heart is set on this. My heart was set on your brother leaving politics altogether and pursuing a life of emotional integrity. But that's not happening either. The answer is no. Yeah, Patrick's romantic habits are a lot more embarrassing than mine. I don't see why you can't be on my side every once in a while. You've always been stronger than your older brother, Karen, and you know it. Don't be disingenuous. It's not becoming. Mrs. Darling. Yes, Elizabeth. The caters have arrived to discuss the lunch for the photo shoot tomorrow. They're waiting in the kitchen. I'll be right out. Patrick needs me more than you do. He always has. I'm not running for Senate. I've decided. Telling my father today. And when will you tell your wife? About the Senate? No, about us. Soon. I promise. Real soon. I don't believe you. I'm just asking my sister to come home. I don't want to. 
I'm through with daddy paying for everything and secretly arranging my life behind my back. It makes me feel like, well, like this big. Like I'm living on a train set. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool, actually. No, I want to be normal sized and independent. Well, can you at least get a hotel room that isn't the size of a freaking postage stamp? I tried to get the penthouse suite, but it was taken. Bummer. Yeah. Who's the mutt? This is Bingles. I found him the day I left home. Here's my totem. Are you allowed to have dogs here? No, but if I were in the penthouse, they'd be making exceptions. Would you please be so kind as to investigate who's staying in there? I'd be so grateful. I'm on it. Thank you. To independence. To independence. You're going back to your mother today, and that's final. I want to live with you, Daddy. Well, you can't. Stop calling me Daddy. I lied to my wife and daughters last night. Hey. I told them. Oh, I'm sorry, Father. I lied to my wife and daughters last night and told them that you were an orphan whose parents were killed in a bullet train accident in Sweden. What's a bullet train? It's none of your business. The point is, do you know what my wife would do if she found out that you talk English or, or that you're mine? Mommy's not going to take me back. She'll take you back. She'll take you back if I have to shoot you at it with a cannon. Sorry, I'm late. Train got hung up at Union Square. Whoa. You have a date with me and you take the subway. Usually runs on time. Trust me, it won't be a problem again. Let me set you up with a car. No, the subway's fine, thanks. 24-7. I'm good. All right. What can I do for your trip? Well, we have this photo shoot happening here tomorrow. We are rebranding the family as Fresh Tip for Patrick's campaign. Did you see? And since everyone lives here except Brian, they figured it'd be a good idea to have it in the living room. So what would you like me to do? Just hang around. Set a tone. Make sure everybody gets there. Sounds simple enough. Yeah. The piece of cake. Here. What, uh, what's, what's this? No, I used to give some cash to your dad at the beginning of every work week. Four? You know, things come up. Trust me. You said you could open it up. I'm a paralegal, Nick, not a code breaker. Any calls? Juliet called. She doesn't want to do the photo shoot tomorrow. What? Why? She says she's a free radical now, and you of all people would understand. What else? Jeremy called. He wants you to copyright some song he wrote with Justin Timberlake last night. He left it on your answering machine. Right. Brian hasn't called to yell at me. It's surprising. Actually, he did stop by. This is your mother's phone number and address, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna get in touch with your mom, and everything's gonna be okay. All right? Okay. Call for you. It's Norman Exley. Put him through. Hello? Hi. This is Norman Exley. Have you been looking for me? Look, I know Brian Darling paid you $100,000 for something, Mr. Exley. I have to cancel checks. You sure got all your little ducks in a row there, don't you, Chief? Yeah, I do. What was the money for? Well, I did a lot of work on your dad's plane over the years. Sometimes he'd show up early when I'd still be spot-checking the engine, and I'd, you know, overhear things. Yeah, what kind of things? Well, come on, Mr. Exley, you can tell me, or later on you're gonna be talking to the police. Okay, one time I heard your dad talking to Reverend Darlin about his little secret love baby, so I gave the Reverend, you know, a call. We came to an understanding. So you blackmailed Brian Darling about his illegitimate son? Yes, sir. I'm not proud. Brian Darling never paid you to sabotage my father's plan. No, sir. Not, not in any way, shape, or form. Thank you for your honesty, Mr. Exley. Mr. George? Yeah. A lot of times when your dad took the plane, he brought along his lady friend. Tisha Darling? 
Yes, sir. I know I'm talking out of school here, but if I was Trip Darling, I sure would have found that troublesome. Real troublesome. <laughs> Clark. Uh, good morning, Mr. Darling. You enjoying that book? It's great. Thanks for giving it to me. Not sure I understand it. Well, no, don't take it too seriously. Just enjoy it, but stick with it. I'm going to, sir. The scene at the end, when Xenophon crests the mountain and the water is stretched out in front of him. The latter, the latter, the sea, the sea. Stunning. Fish went out this morning. Uh, yes, sir. I took her to Forest Lawn Cemetery. Staying here? Jeremy, darling? What the hell are you doing here? Natalie Kimden. Gee. You look amazing. You look. I, 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 I gotta go. No, 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 stay. I haven't seen you since your sister freaked out on me. I know. It's been like a year. Oh, what a crap lizard that was. How did you get up here? I thought this penthouse was maximum privacy. I, I, I told the elevator girl that she, she could sing back up with me on this project I'm doing with Justin Timberlake. Oh, you're writing songs now? Yeah, you know, whatever I get by. Natalie! Oh, is that your mom? Yeah, she's trading in her third face for a fourth and a brand new ass. So, of course, I'm stuck here taking care of her like a slave. And her face, her face is like a grape smushed on the sidewalk. It's so Natalie, bad. Natalie, come here! Carlos! Mommy wants something! God! It sucks. I gotta go. No, 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 no! Stay! Stay, stay, stay. Come here. Please. Help you just like old times, you know? Remember St. Bart's? It'll be just like St. Bart's. Uh -oh. You remember St. to run for Senate. I want to get out of politics. Okay. What about the photo shoot? I already had my office call and cancel. Because I'm not running, so what's the point, right? I mean, I'm not. The family's I'm head. I'm not the family, Dad. I'm me. Yeah, you're you. You. And you could be president of the United States. I don't want to be president. I, I let you push me into law school, then the attorney general's office. I won't let it happen again. I can't be any more clear. Can't you? If you're worried about some things coming to light in the election, we can handle that together. No. These things have a way of coming to the surface anyway. They're like splinters. They want out. That's not why I don't want to run. Come here. Come here. Come. Contrary to popular belief, history is not made by great men. It takes more than one man to change the world. It takes more than one generation. It takes a family. Dad, I don't want to make history. I just want to live my life, okay? Daddy, you're the eldest son. You're the only one who can carry on our name in public service. You're the scion of the darling family tree. Please, make me proud. Make yourself proud. Junior, I'm Lisa. Nice to meet you. Meet you too. Our daughter Kiki is in the living room watching a movie. Do you want to join her? Okay. Just right around the corner. All right. You're kidding me, right? What? 
Look, Lisa, I told you that Daisy already watched him for two hours at the office. I'm fine watching him. What I'm not fine with is that the darlings think that this is part of your job. No, you You're you both. a lawyer. Hey, I know. you always said your dad sacrificed his family to take care of every crazy thing the darlings wanted. And now here you are. You're bringing home this kid. You're babysitting. You Look, know that, right? Lisa, I know this sounds crazy, but right now this is the best way for me to get to the bottom of things, okay? I need to do my job. <sighs> That's Karen. <laughs> of course. Take it. She probably wants you to wash her pet tiger or ensure her solid gold toilet or something very reasonable like that. It could be important. Hey, I said take it. Tell her hot. Hey, Karen, what's up? Hey, yeah, Kai. It's me. Can you hear me? No, not really. I need you to do me a favor. What? I need you to do me a favor. What's up, baby? <sighs> Nothing. I love you. Yeah, I love you. I need you to tell Freddie he can't be in the picture tomorrow. Mommy says no, and I, I just don't have the heart to tell him. Do you think you can handle that? Look, Karen, it isn't really my job to tell your fiancé he can't be in some photo shoot for a fashion magazine. I never thought it was your job, Nick. I'm asking you as a friend. Nick? Okay, I'll do it. Thank you. You're my hero. Okay, bye. That did sound very, very, very important. Look, if you are ever going to get to the bottom of things, you need to stop avoiding the obvious. I talk to Letitia? Yeah. I won't let you do it. I won't let you push that boy into the Senate for the sake of your almighty family name. You've pushed him his whole life to try to make up for what happened to your brother, Kenneth. It's not right. It's what's best for him. You know he has issues that issues? will come up. Our married son has affairs with transsexuals, and you stand there calling them issues? Don't lecture me in that tone. Can't someone in this family besides me live in the light of the simple truth? Someone, anyone. God, I wish Dutch was here. Why, why do you wish Dutch were here? Because I miss the days when there was somebody in this family who knew the difference between power and love. in this family. You know what I mean. Jeff stays at the penthouse, the Argyle Hotel. It's uh, some dude from Belgium. He's here to cook for the United Nations. You know. What? God, this place is really changing. See you tomorrow at the shoot? Oh, no, you won't. W why not? Because I won't be appearing with the family anymore. Oh, come on, Jules. There's going to be lions. Live lions. Come I on. don't care. Thank you. Okay. I'm on my own now. Are you paying for this place out of your own pocket? What do you mean? I mean, this isn't independence, okay? Dad's paying for it. What's your problem? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, you, sh you, should, you should come tomorrow, and you should be in the picture. And then you should come home. We should both get the hell out of here. Later. Have you always known about the affair? No, actually, I just found out a few days ago. Two of you are real good at maintaining appearances. Uh, well, it uh, it started as a necessity and then became a lifestyle. Who told you? Karen. Yeah. Does Trip know? Why? The police think that my father's plan may have been tampered with. Are you serious? Yeah. It's not clear at all. I mean, we'll know more once the NTSB reports come back. But if Tripp did know about the affair, I just thought that maybe he... I see. No, I, I have no idea if he knew. 
Your father, Nick. Your father was my great love. So... <laughs> How could Trip not have known? I know. I thought the same thing. But, Nick, for the past 40 years, I've read every look on his face like it was code, wondering if he was going to come down to bed and, and ask me or tell me he knew or... He never did. Do you think he's capable of murder? <sighs> We're all capable of everything. You know, Tripp's faith in, in God has always been shaky. He, he puts his faith in facts. He, he believes in history, he keeps track of everything. If he did know about the affair, he would have written about it in his journal. He keeps it in his desk. And you've, you've never looked at No, no. I've always been too frightened to find out how much I've hurt him. Why is that? Because I love him too. Darling's called. Just the lion wrangler. Uh, am I supposed to know what you're talking about? No one told you? Well, apparently there are going to be lions at the photo shoot. But you need to figure out the insurance first. Live lions. I know. Crazy. So what do you want me to do? I guess we should get some lion insurance. Did uh, Brian Jr.'s mother ever call back? No. And did you solve Juliet's problem with the photo shoot? <sighs> when did all this become our job? Yeah, yeah, I know. Tell me about it. I'll see you. saw me and I don't want you to think I was doing something that I'm not I'm not I'm not so I need this for uh well it's something to do with the family very high priority matter appreciate it if we could keep this between just in between you and me for the sake of security family security 500 five, 500 what oh yeah yeah 500 sure here 500 here you go uh Hey, tell you what, how about a thousand? Five hundred is plenty. Okay, all right, there you go. Fantastic. Okay, thank you. There are quite a few times I walked in on your father getting away with things. He put my daughter Alejandra through college. Med school. You find anything? Nothing that indicates with absolute certainty that Tripp knew anything about the affair. There's lots of stuff in here about poetry and Arctic expeditions, but barely any mention of Dad. Or, for that matter, Letitia. Not even on the day your dad died. Yeah. Actually, that's the one thing that's kind of odd. Check it out. Look at this. What the heck did that say? I don't know. But why did he cross it out? Kiki! Hey, Kiki! How's he doing? He's all right. I think he's a little discombobulated. Did you get a hold of his mom, or is he spending the night? Maybe staying forever? Are we going to adopt him, perhaps? No, I called her like five times. She never returned. And the last time I called, I got this recording saying the number's out of service. Take a look at this. What is it? The kids were drawing pictures this afternoon. He did this one of his mom at this giant waterfall. Well, he's a better artist than Tripp. He said this is in Brazil, which is where she's going. She's going to Brazil? Yeah, I, I thought it was a, imagination, Damn. you know? I mean... Well, do me a favor and imagine that she hasn't already gone to Brazil. She's gone. Oh. The mother of your son. What are you talking about? 
That address you gave me, I just came from there, Brian. The landlady said she left last night, sold everything, went to Brazil. What are you gonna do about the kid? Well, you know, it's funny, Brian. I just came here to ask you the same question. <laughs> you know, your father was a cash-sucking leech, but at least he wasn't willfully stupid or self-righteous or whatever it is that makes you show up here expecting me to be nice to you. I'm not gonna claim that kid, Nick, even if you leave him on my freaking doorstep, okay? Good night. God bless. <sighs> so much bigger. Well, that's because he lives near the church where he works. But today he has to be here to get his picture taken. Come on. Daddy doesn't want me, does he? Hey, Brian, listen. Sometimes daddies get confused. But sometimes when a, when a daddy gets around his own daddy, things get less confusing very, very quickly. Hey, I'll show you something. Come here. the family, kid. Nick! Hey! Where have, have you been? been? I've been living my life. Where have you been? You have to tell Freddy he can't be in the picture. I'm sorry, I forgot. Nice. Who is this? Rebecca Colfax, family publicist. Who are you? Nick George, family lawyer. Oh, well, this photo is probably the most important thing that's going to happen in this campaign. People will be voting for the Darlings as much as they'll be voting for Patrick. And Mr. Darling told me you'd be here to set a tone. Ah. So get in there and set it. Okay. Hey, Brian, this nice, lonely lady is gonna get you some cake, okay? Thank you. Uh, uh, can you uh, get it cake? Freddie, you're a golfer, so I'm gonna give it to you straight. Hit me. You can't be in the picture. Who says? Karen, her mother? I do. I'm sorry, it's nothing against you, it's just family politics. You're still in love with her. What? You, you're still in love with her. Freddie, it's just a picture in a magazine for women and girls. What's the big freaking deal? Fine, you know what? You can keep the other picture, Nick, okay? But you can't keep me out of the picture, got it? Karen is mine. She's still in love with you. Hi, thanks for taking care of that. Not a problem. Why didn't you cancel this? Well, I didn't want to ruin it for everyone. And just because we're taking a picture does not mean that I'm running. You can't keep pleasing your father forever. Tell him no and move on. Completely. Still no luck with the briefcase, huh? I've been kind of busy. I'm just getting around to it. Yeah, what's going on with the Juliet situation? I haven't seen her here yet. Oh, that's fine. I solved that one. What does that mean? You'll see. I know wherever I go, there hath passed away a glory from the earth. What a glory your Uncle Kenneth was, Cupcake. Who is this girl? Bring in the lions! Beautiful. Hold it. Magnificent. One minute dream, kids. Has anyone seen my journal? I'm looking for it all morning. I can't imagine where I could have set it down. Please. No, I haven't seen it, dear. Have you come across an orange journal? Can you stay with us? What do you think? I stole it? You're you're not my sister. Da. Nick, is this travesty your idea? Technically no, but I, I did. asked you to set it tone. And I'm trying, Trip. I'm trying. It uh excuse me. <laughs> What do you think you're doing bringing him here where my whole family can see him, where my father can see him? I'm sorry, is that a problem? Hi, Larry. Who is this unnamed youth? He's an orphan whose parents were killed in a bullet train accident in Sweden. Could he have taken my journal? Oh, no, I don't think so, no. Why would he take your journal, Trip? Perhaps he thought it was filled with arcane secrets and treasure maps. It's that kind of object. Does he speak English? Uh, no, uh, just Swedish. Ah! Dog to me in dog book. 
I was on the Nobel Peace Prize Committee in 1990. It was a fascinating experience. Tog, you mean dog book? Is he dead? Uh, was he in the train with his parents when it crashed? El du dog. Look, I took it, okay? I took, I took the journal. I took it. I'm sorry. I took it, I'm sorry. Oof. Why would you take my journal? I took it because I wanted to figure out... What? Who killed my dad? And you thought it might be me? Is that why you stole my journal? Well, I thought that... What possible reason could I have had to do such a thing? He was my best friend. I, I don't understand. You all right? Don't even pretend to be concerned, Trip. Just say what you came to say. I was stranded. By what? That someone could be so mistaken. It's, it's not your fault. Well, I mean, it's, it's not even Nick's, really. I'm sure blaming someone must be an attractive notion in the face of such hideous randomness. Even when so obviously groundless. I'm sure. Still, it's such an extravagant accusation to make. To think you. Yes. Please. I know that you miss Dutch as much as I do. And I know this is a terrifically hard time. But we'll get through it. We'll get through it together. You and me and Nick. This family is another minute that I find out I didn't know my father at all. It's not my fault. And that's not the point. Don't do that to your son. Let him get to know you while there's still time. I can't! Yeah, you can. Go home, tell the truth, figure it out. For the sake of your only son. Don't do that again. What? That only son thing is stupid. Could you check and see if I have some mail, please? Do that, darling. No problem. Thank you. Jeremy! It's I! Hey! What, what are you doing I here? I want to surprise you. You didn't tell me you are coming. That's crazy. <laughs> um, surprise! <laughs> Silly? How was the photo shoot? It was, uh, it was, a, it was a trip. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did everybody miss me? We did. Um, but, you know, it was, it was kind of like you were there. Like, we... We did. We felt your presence. Oh. Good. Guess what? What? The guest in the penthouse isn't a Belgian chef. It's Natalie Kimpton. And she's been staying there all month. Natalie. Why'd you lie to me? I didn't, I didn't want to bum you out. Don't lie to me, Jeremy. Especially about Natalie Kimpton. She was my best friend in the whole world. And then... She put out your signature perfume without your name on yeah, it. Yeah, and... She stole your bangs. Yeah, and I hate her guts. That's completely understandable. Thank you. I, hang on a second. Jeremy, darling, go. I just took a shower. I'm hot. And I'm very, very, very wet. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. What is that supposed to mean? 
just, uh, you know, just work on the second verse and then give me a call when, um, when it's gold. Okay? Bye. Who is that? Uh, that was Justin. Timberlake? Yeah, he, uh, you know, sometimes he can't, like, see the, the forest for the trees, and so I help him, like, he gets a little aggies. Do you promise not to lie to me ever again? You got it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what. Got into me, yeah. Okay, here's the deal. We're gonna tell my wife and kids the truth, but not until it's time, okay? Okay. So, uh, until then, just, uh, act sweet as shit, okay? Okay. And, uh, you know, I I'm really, really sorry. This is hard. You know, because if it was up to me, you wouldn't even be here. But, uh, I mean, you know, that came out wrong, but, you know, what I mean is, uh, just, uh, you, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, okay? Hey, what's your name? Swedish name? Gustav. Boy. All right, you go up there and you go straight to bed, okay? Okay, Daddy. Concentrator. Stop concentrating. I don't know. I'm sorry. What do you want to do, Pat? About what? Your dad wants you to run and your mother doesn't. What do you want to do? I'm not sure. If I say something, don't get mad, okay? I think that you should run. You should embrace what he wants for you and win. Go even further than little Chip Darling ever dreamed of. I like the sound of that. And doing what he wants today is the only way that you might be able to do what you want tomorrow. Love you too. Uh, hey, Karen, listen, I. Karen? I know. I shouldn't have said it. I'm sorry. Okay. Good night. Karen? What the hell are these? Virtual reality goggles. You really didn't have to do this. Well, sure I did. I mean, you're trapped in here all day with your monster. You sounded so down when you called. So, what do you, um, what do you do with them? I mean, well, I, so... I put them on. <laughs> okay. And, um, I have to plug them in, but when the time is right, mm -hmm. you look where you want to go, and then you blink. Like... So I, I got uh, three games. I got um, Clown Fight, Cosmic Pirates, and Last Tango and Tanya. You want to do it? Cosmic Pirates. No. Last Tango and Tanya. Mm. Mm. No, no, I got it. I got it. I just wanted to give you your goodbye present. Jeremy. Dreams of their parents, but most importantly, their own dreams. 
So it is with great pride and respect that I announce my candidacy for the United States Senate representing the great state, the Empire State. Congratulations. New York State. Thank you. That's what he wants. I wasn't sure you'd show up. Yeah, well. I wasn't sure I wanted you to. I understand. Thank you. I don't have any secrets, Nick. Not there. Not anywhere. He brought his briefcase. Yeah, I did. I still haven't been able to figure out the combination. Why don't you try seven one two? What's that? Tish's birthday. Give it a shot. Fair? Of course. Simon Elder. A billionaire, there's all this information in here on Simon Elder. Information about what? Immigration papers, patent records, criminal files. Huh. Well, if I were trying to figure out who would kill my father, that's the guy I'd start with. Mm -hmm. 